you are focused on winning right now. You're very focused on winning. And you got these people confused about you. They cannot figure you out and don't know where you are. See, they thought the traps that they set for you was going to prosper. They thought it was going to prosper over you, but it did not prosper. Whatever the attacks and the stuff they try to pull over you, God shielded you from all of it. So whoever these people are or this particular individual, they're confused about why you're still standing. See, while they're focused on you, you're focused on winning. You're focused on succeeding. You're focused on becoming a better person. But yet they are confused about where you are, how you're doing it, what is keeping you going, why it's you and not them, where are you. <laughs> These people are overly focused about you, overly focused for no reason. Tell these people, mind their business. They need to mind their business about you. Why they focus on you and in, in your business, they're not even doing what they call to do because they so focused on you. A definition of a true hater. Their eyes are only on you and what you're doing. They're not focused on them. They only focus on what you're doing and what you got going on in your life. And to confirm that, I got a vision earlier about that. I had a vision of a past person looking confused about where I possibly could be at in life, what I'm doing, trying to figure out the type of person I am. But when I was around this individual, they chose to throw hate and shade my way. But now I'm away from this individual for so long. The vision was basically just showing me that this person was just wondering. And this is what they are doing to you. What are these people wondering about? They can't believe that God is blessing you. They can't believe that God chose to deal with you in a marvelous way. While they were too busy being ugly and rotten towards you, you are focused on becoming better. And this is why you are where you are. Because while you were focused on becoming better, they was focused on your demise. They was focused on when you was go they was gonna knock you off your throne. You were sitting high on the throne, happy, well, not worried about these people. And they was focused on knocking you off your throne. Trying to cause problems in your life. So now that everything that they tried against you is not working, they're overly confused about everything they put out against you. Just like a Decepticon would do. These people are very deceptive in your life. They want to be deceptive. They wanted to act like they was for you. But internally, they despised you. Carry a deep envy towards you for no reason. You didn't need these people. You didn't need the drama. You didn't need the foolishness. And when you realize that, you said, instead of me focus on that foolishness, I'm just going to walk away and do what's best for me. And that's what you did. You walked away. And did what was best for you. But now, they are in a mental state of confusion about you. Because they really thought you was going to sit back there and focus and worry about them. People that, that's not even in your space right now. You in a whole new state. You're glowing brighter. You're shining brighter. You're doing a whole different new thing for your life. God is opening up new doors for your life. Making you wiser, stronger, and better. And these people are stagnant where they are because their whole life they was focused on the wrong things. That's what it was. They were focused on the wrong things. While you were focused on the right things to get you ahead and succeed, these people were focused on the wrong things, like focusing on you. 
trying to get a degree and studying you. Now they're confused about what you're doing, where you are, where you about to go. Why didn't they plans of them sabotaging everything you had going on not prosper? They're, they're utterly confused about that. See, they didn't think you had divine protection around you. No, not these, not these haters, not your ops, not your enemies. They, they didn't think you had anything around you. They thought you was just by yourself. They thought you was going to be that easy target. Like, they thought you were the easy target. But now, by you being where you are, God is showing them that you was really a hard target. But they thought you was so easy because they thought you was by yourself. Never judge a book by its cover. You don't know what type of power is behind that person. You don't know who's by, what force is behind that person. It ain't always got to be physical people. It could be spiritual God hid your value. He hid you away because he knew that this person just had it out for you for some strange reason. Whoever this female was, it's a woman. She had it out for you for some strange reason. And I'm not talking about a family member. I'm talking about somebody that was just your hater while you were growing up. She was just a hater. She was just a hater of yours. She didn't have no reason why she did not like you. She just did not like you. It was without cause. She just didn't like you. And now, you don't want to deal with this person no more. And this person know you don't want to deal with them no more. They know. And they don't know what to do. I'm trying to figure you out, wonder if you're going to come back and entertain foolishness. And you already didn't cut them off 10 to 12 years ago. You didn't cut them off. And they focused on you and what you got going on. She was that intimidated by you and who you were as a woman. This woman I'm talking about, whoever this woman is, she was that intimidated by you without cause for no reason. She just wanted to be intimidated by you. But now this person is confused about where you are on your life journey. You're in a way better place than this person thought you was going to be. You're in a way better place than that. They thought you was going to be the lowest out of everybody. And God elevates you and made you the highest. By the power of his Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit wasn't going to let these people stop the plans that he had for your life. No, the Holy Spirit wasn't going to let that happen. When you got that Holy Spirit up in you, it changed the game. It changed the game about how you were viewed even on a spiritual level. And now that you recognize the beauty of the Holy Spirit that lives inside you, you are a threat to a lot of people because of this. You might as well just face it. People are threatened by you because of what you got inside you, which is the Holy Spirit. People are threatened by that. It is spirit, it's truly spiritual. You can walk in a room and not say nothing. It's going to be somebody that just don't like you because the energy is going to be off. Because you got light. And they walking in darkness. That's just how it go. And the Holy Spirit is aware of this. He knows that his children are going to have this stuff coming against them. But you continue to be that shining light and that good person. You got these people heck of confused about where you are. They thought you was going to be stuck. They thought you was going to be that you was going to fall backwards because of the traps they tried to put out for you. Well, they thought wrong. They thought wrong about you. See, in your mind, you woke up by faith every day to keep on going. You kept going. They didn't have no faith. And they thought they tried to project on you like you didn't have any faith because they didn't have no faith. See, they didn't believe, they didn't believe in God fully like you did. But I promise you, by the time God get done with you and your life in elevation and where he really wants you to go, these folks going to probably start believing in God because of you. That's just what I'm getting spiritually. They going to start wondering who was behind you and, and who are you serving that got you like the way you are. These people ain't never believing in God. They don't even know who God is. But they want to come for you. They can't come for you. 
They can't come for you at all. They don't even know the God you serve. He had your back since the day you stepped foot on this earth out of your mother's womb. God said he had your back. He, he still got your back. And the devil was angry about you from birth. Angry over your life. And he can't even do nothing about you because you moving forward in your elevation. That's just what I'm getting. You move forward in your elevation and he can't do nothing about you either. Your confidence is radiant. You got confidence out of this world as you rightfully supposed to have because you're a good person filled with the Holy Spirit. Your confidence is taking you far. Your faith is taking you far. You believed in the impossible. You had faith. Oh, because you had faith. Yeah, yeah. I can do the impossible. I can see the invisible. Because I got faith. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can I can? No, I can't. But if I want it, yes, I can. Can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can I can? No, I can't. But if I want it, yes, I can. Can. <laughs> oh, because you got faith. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many of you know that song from Kurt Franklin? Oh, because you got faith. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have faith. And these people are confused about your faith and where you are. Let them be confused. Let these opposite enemies, whatever they want to call themselves, let them hate on you from a distance. You ain't got to tell these people nothing. Just say that you got here because God got you here because it's the truth. God got you here. Ain't got nothing to do with them trying to cause problems in your life and stagnation and gossip about you and and gang monitor you and send people against you. God got you where you are. They can't even stop that. I don't care how many people they try to round up against you. If God said you're supposed to be at this spot, you're going to get there. Because God said you're supposed to be there. Where do these people want to see it or not? They might not ever acknowledge who you are. Your enemies is never going to acknowledge who you are, these people. They never are. They ain't got to. Your elevation of where you are in life is proving them wrong about everything they ever felt or thought about you. And that ain't nobody but God sitting these people down because they was wrong for how they came against you as this divine holy one. Yes, the righteous is winning. I don't care what this world is saying. The righteous will overcome wickedness in this world. The winning team is the righteous. The losing team is the people that do evilness and wickedness and people that try to stop other people because they not in a place they supposed to be at spiritually with God. See, they really mad at God. They not even mad at you. They mad at God because God chose you and not them. But he chose you because your heart posture was right and theirs was in the wrong heart posture. So it's not even about you. They hate the God that you serve because he ain't, God ain't dealing with these people. He not dealing with them because they're not righteous. God don't deal with the wicked. He deal with the righteous, but he reigns on the just and the unjust. But he not blessing the wicked. He not blessing them like that. They got to rob, steal, kill, and do foolishness against other people to get their blessings and their money. And they thought you was the weak person. They thought they could bully you out of your blessings. God said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't bully my child out of their blessings. You can try it, though. God allowed these people to try it against you. He allowed it, and then he smacked them down. <laughs> That's just what happened. That's just what I'm getting spiritually. They tried to take it from you. And then they got smacked down right after that. He let them take a little bit from you too. He, he, he was setting them up. 
he let him take a little bit from you and then he smacked them down right after that by your elevation of where you are and now they confused they are confused but it ain't got nothing to do with you you keep moving forward in your faith you truly can do the impossible because you got God on your side <laughs> and you should be happy you should rejoice don't worry about this person that's worried about you don't worry about them them being worried about you is letting you know you're doing something right you ain't worried about them because they trying to figure out where you are and why they still stagnant it ain't their business just God is blessing you that's all these people need to know <laughs> and that's a prophetic message I have for somebody on today y'all be blessed if you reach the end of this video, it's meant for you to hear it. Shout out to all my recent subscribers. And shout out to the people that's been leaving donations on my channel. Through Super Chat, Cash App. You guys are a blessing. God bless your house triple fold. If it wasn't for you guys, this ministry would not be possible. And I am forever thankful. You guys are a blessing to me. You are a blessing. And I'm glad y'all allow me to talk to you guys day by day and give you prophetic words and messages that's going to help you on your journey with the Holy Spirit. I am truly honored by this. And I pray that my channel continues to grow to reach more souls to the Holy Spirit. That's my goal. God is truly powerful and God is truly good right now. And you guys show that every day by y'all beautiful comments and everything y'all do on my channel. <laughs> Thank you all. Until next time. Bye-bye.